right off the bat. There we go. There we go. Welcome back fishing friends. Hey, I hope you guys are having a great day. Well today I've got a different kind of a video for you. So what in the heck is that thing sitting there? <laughs> well before we get to that I just want to say I hope everyone's having a great 2022 and that you have some fantastic things happen in 2022. Well I'm here at the worldwide headquarters of casual observations and I was working on a couple of things today, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a quick video about uh, this pack. But before we get into that, I just want to say, hey, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and supporting me. And for everyone, I appreciate your support. My name's Alan, and I usually make fishing videos here, but there are times where I do things that I just label in the stuff category or points of interest. And, you know, there's just different things that I like to put out there. Well, today, I'm going to go over this Polish military surplus pack. It's got like a Puma camouflage pattern on it. And this comes about from what I keep in my pickup truck. Usually when I've had trucks before, I've always had like a truck box. And, you know, I don't mind them, but just lately... In the last, I don't know, maybe 10 years, I've gone without one. And then in my kind of newish GMC, I don't have a truck box in there. And I kind of like it like that. You know, I've got room for the fishing poles. I can get stuff in and out of there real quick. If I need to keep something secure in the truck, I just, I had like a blue duffel bag and I would keep it in the back seat, uh, just on the floor back there. Well, I got tired of that thing because it was a pain to get in and out and move around. And I thought, you know what, I need to find something that can hold all my stuff in there and it's not going to be an issue that I can get in and out quick. So I started searching online and I found this military surplus pack for like 15 bucks. And this thing is great. It holds a ton of stuff in it. Get this. It's got my full-size jumper cables in there. It's got two ice scrapers. It's got a can of Fix-A-Flat in there. It's got rope for tie down stuff. I've got bungee cords in there. I've got a bunch of other safety equipment in there. I got a change of clothes which involves, you know, for the winter time like layers. I got like a pair of old school sweatpants in there that are really warm. I've got a jacket in there. And uh I've got an old pair of work gloves in there. And I even got like a small set of tools. So this thing can hold a ton of stuff. And I just put it right in the in the floor of the, the back seat there, and I'm good to go. So the reason I have this is because, you know, when I taught school in Amarillo, we actually had some decent blizzards, some snowstorms. I know people are like, what? You know, snow in Amarillo? Yeah, we actually get quite a few snows there. It's a high elevation, really flat, so the wind just blows and blows and get these, you know, good-sized drifts and whatnot. Well, anyway, so I always carried some extra supplies in there you know, in case I needed them or <clears throat> just whatever the situation was. Well, then in the summertime, I kind of converted to more summertime type stuff. I've got, a, I put like some water bottles in there and things like that just to have some, you know, uh, those in there. And what, I put like uh, containers of sun, uh, tubes of sunblock, just, you know, whatever kind of things I think of for the summertime. Well, the other thing is, even though I'm out fishing all the time, I go to some really remote places, and a lot of times I don't have any cell phone service. I'm an AT&T user, and if I'm way up in northeast Iowa, there's just nothing there. So then I carry like a small flip phone, which is U.S. Cellular, which is their coverage in that area, and it works out really well, and uh, I activate that when I go up there for the summers. But there was a time where I was out hiking or out fishing and it was a bit of a hike and I was about a mile from the truck and I blew out my right calf 
to make a long story short, it, I had to just gimp back and bear, deal with the pain, carrying my fishing bag. and Anyway, so I got back and got medical attention, and uh, everything turned out okay. But I thought, you know what, I need to update this pack and to be able to carry some safety stuff in there. And so that's what I've done. All right, so let me show you a little bit about this. Let me crawl over here a little bit. This thing, I mean, look how high up it goes to hold gear. Let me pull this up so you can see it. And then it's got these rugged two sets of uh, buckles there for when you want to cinch it down. Then on the back, it's got some nice straps. Really, this is sitting in the truck, so I don't have to worry about those straps. But then inside, you're not going to be able to see much in there. But everything's in there, those things I was telling you about. There's the jacket. But I got the full set of jumper cables in there. Just all kinds of stuff. The other thing I keep in there is this Survive Wear first aid kit. And then this pack is a Maxpedition. Uh, it's kind of like a survival kit. I've got an extra knife in there. There's like a safety whistle, a poncho, a backup first aid kit, uh, some candles, those little itty bitty round like Halloween pumpkin candles in case I need them. And this will fit in here also. So I cinch down the bottom part here. Cinch the top part down, and then I can get this down. I don't really cinch it through that first loop, I just put it through there. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And then down here at the bottom, I'll really pull it and secure it. There she is, all cinched up, guys. And I just pull them up here through the top a little bit. If you want to see the bottom, it's got that heavy canvas. That's where the nameplate was. Whoever had this, there was nothing in there when, when I got it, but whatever soldier had it in the Polish military. Oof! This thing is heavy. Here are the straps. And look at this reinforced stitching in here. It goes on the inside. You got some more buckles down here that you can attach like a bedroll to if you're into bushcraft and all that kind of stuff but this thing is great so if you need like a little I don't know people call them loadout bags day packs everyday carry packs get home bags whatever it is I'm not much of a bushcrafter guy but or a prepper but I'm out there fishing all the time so I do need to have some stuff ready to go in case I need them and this pack works out great so if you're thinking about picking something up like this or you haven't hey check around for it and there's other packs out there you can get that are dirt cheap um, I always go for the military surplus because it's you know heavy duty grade stuff and you know it's gonna come through for you now this one was used and it did have that military surplus canvas smell to it. <laughs> but it, you know, went away once I got it out into the fresh air. And I think I had it in the back of the truck for a couple of trips, so it got aired out really well. But like I said, man, this thing is great. It holds all my stuff in there. All right, so that was just it. I just wanted to share that with you. You know, if you're kind of thinking about um, picking up some kind of a bag for the winter or even for the summer you can keep your stuff in it if you're the type of person that's a bushcrafter and you're looking for packs and you came up uh, across this video this would work you could you know keep your um, you know your fire starting kit in there you could keep your cook kit in there you could do a full size kit in there you could probably fit one of the the smaller of the UCO flat pack grills you could fit a couple of canteens easy and with those straps you could put uh, on the back or on the bottom you could do a bedroll on the bottom it's got like this bathtub type bottom on there and it's a heavy canvas or rubber is what it is a rubber 
lining down there and it works great <clears throat> and so if you're a bushcrafter and you need like a day pack or something this will get the job done for you you could stuff a sleeping bag in there a hammock a tent you know a bedroll if you stood it up in there or you could maybe lay it down flat you know you could put your water filtering stuff in there for uh, water for uh, water purification type type things in case you need to do that so this will hold all kinds of stuff all right so that's pretty much going to do it for this hey I will hopefully get out here pretty soon to get some fishing in the weather's just been terrible it's been up and down temperatures the wind blowing 40 miles an hour and sadly uh, last weekend I caught the flu so I've been dealing with that. That's why I'm huffing and puffing now. It moved from like my nose into my ears and now it's down into my lungs. So it's, you know, I've been gagging and wheezing and coughing up all kinds of junk. But uh, today I was able to get some stuff done <clears throat> with the truck. Um, just double checking all my gear in there and I'll take it back out there and put it in there. I was looking for a bungee cord actually uh, for something else. And I thought, you know what, I need to organize this bag a little bit better. But like I said, you know, it's like 15 bucks. I think I want to got it. I think I got it at Coleman's Military Surplus. Go check out that site. I'll put a link to it uh, in the bottom down here. But this is like um, a Polish military surplus pack. And I think they call it a Puma or a Leopard camouflage print. You know, it's pretty cool. The thing is, for me, it's just mainly to hold the stuff I need to hold in there. And I keep it right there in the, you know, in the back seat on the floor. Behind the, the back bench seat, I've got a big uh, uh, poncho. It's like a lined winter poncho, which is fantastic. So, you know, I do uh, take safety seriously, and I keep some things for when I'm out fishing. Because uh, a lot of times I'm by myself when I'm out there on some of the rivers and, you know, trout streams and things. But uh, even if you're in town and you need, like, a to-go bag or... You know, if, you know, something came up or you had to walk home or walk somewhere to a friend's house, you know, grab this bag, you know, have some snacks in there and you're good to go. I need to put some uh, breakfast bars in there. Okay, guys, so here is the pack and it is at Coleman's Military Surplus and I'll put the link down there. But check this thing out. Fourteen ninety five. Fourteen ninety five for this thing. Made of a heavy cotton canvas, these bags sure fit a lot of gear. Of course they do. Measuring a whopping 25 inches tall, 14 inches long, 10 inches wide, with a double drawstring closure underneath. A flap of two closure straps and two different levels of buckles, which lets you fill the bag to top capacity or just carry a normal load. These backpacks have a heavy duty vinyl bottom which helps protect your gear from mud. I think I call that like a bathtub type bottom. It'll protect it from mud, dirt, moisture. It's adjustable. Two inch nylon carrying straps are another feature of this backpack. It's a nice Puma polished military print. That's that camel pattern. And it's used, but it's like new condition. Yeah, mine was pretty much like new. It did have that military surplus smell to it, which if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> You, you know, but anyway, it's, it, it airs out quick, but this side is awesome. Take a look at some of the stuff you can get here. There's clothing, you got camping gear, bag, uh, pouches and bags, military storage, hunting, household products, survival kits, military manuals, military aircraft landing mats, material handling, hardware. Stretchers, bags, surplus, emergency products, military tents. Look at these vehicles for sale, tactical gear, sporting goods, you know, shelving and racking, military machetes and knives, boots and footwear, extreme cold wear. I mean, it just goes on and on just from the bags. I mean, it's just pages and pages. Now, of course, the one I went with was, you know, because of the price, it was fantastic. But, you know, there's all, all kinds of bags here. All right, guys, so that's where I got this from. Hey, if you're looking to pick something up, come visit Coleman's. They do a great job. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them. It's just I did a just an Internet search, and sure enough, 
you know, I clicked on that Polish bag and came to the site, and I was like, hey, this is going to work for me. All right. Let's wrap it up here, and thanks for stopping by. That's pretty much it, guys. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Hey, I hope you have a great 2022. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.